Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is an exciting one as we take you on a tour of the enchanting Rithymno in Crete. Join us as we soak up the sun at the beach, give you an inside look at our cozy apartment, wander through the historic Old Town, and indulge in delicious Greek cuisine. Discover why Rithymno became our home away from home during our incredible one month stay there. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and let's dive into the magic of Rithymno together. Is that corner? This ice cream is looking delicious, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll get some later. Let's go hit the yeah. beach right now. Yeah. Welcome to Rethemno Crete. Yes, welcome back to our channel. So today we're here at the beautiful beach of Rithymno, and this has been our home for the last 26 days or so. Yeah, so we are on the island of Crete. So this is one of the biggest beaches here, actually, and it's in a central location, which has been great for us as we have got our rental car and been traveling to different cities here in Crete. Yes, the reason why we decided to stay here in Rithymno versus Hania or Raklion, which are the other two main towns, they're the two bigger towns, really. This is the third one. Uh, was because this one is actually in the middle between the two. So it makes it really easy to travel. It's a very central location. So if you wanted to, tr to drive around Crete, which is the best way to see Crete, this is a really good home base for that. Yeah, so if you do want to see something in particular, then maybe you do want to stay in Hanya or you want to stay on the other side of the island. But if you are planning on getting a rental car, then I definitely recommend this. Like we're at the end of our trip now and it has been the perfect location basically to be our home base. We have loved it. It is such a cute town. It is a fairly big town. So there is a lot of stuff here to, to see and a do. A great old town here. Fantastic yeah. old town, which we'll, we will be showing you in this video a little bit later. Our apartment has been fabulous and we really just enjoyed the vibes here. It has a very family oriented atmosphere. So are you enjoying this beach, Logan? Yeah. It's, it is a really nice beach, but, but our one tip is stay on the west side of the beach. Yeah, so, so in the near the old town. Yeah. yeah, there's less rocks. You do have a little bit of rocks here, but there's none really out by the ocean right there. Exactly. But the further you go in that direction, Boy, east, east, then you see like some piles of stone, which I'll show you later. A lot of stone <laughs> here. The water is much more shallow. It is a lot clearer. There is hardly any seaweed or anything in it. It's just beautiful and clear. And yeah, there's a lot less stones and rocks. So definitely recommend this side. It is quite wavy today, actually. It's usually much calmer than this. But I think the kids are still gonna try to play in the water and maybe go some snorkeling, right, Logan? Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Logan's always a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we'll show you guys around Rhythm now. in the water guys it is very warm very nice no game no game yeah there's a little bit more stirred up today there is a little bit more there's a little piece of seaweed i see seaweed, which has not been here the entire time we didn't come into this beach but of course we had a couple of days of uh, rainy weather and I think that probably stirred up the ocean and unfortunately it's day that we're shooting but it is still really really nice it is very clear I can see my hand underwater let's see let me see very hustling bustling beach there's a lot of umbrellas and um, they all kind of range in pricing so you kind of have to ask before you sit down but some of them 
um, whatever credit you get will go towards your chair, like um, we'll go towards food and beverages if you want to order some, something from their menu. But in most other places, you just buy, uh, buy, buy your chair basically for the day. Yeah, so ours was 10 uh, euro. 10 euro for two umbrellas, you know, two chairs, and one umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're, we're, we're not usually all sitting down at the same time, so we just get two chairs. <laughs> yeah, two chairs are plenty. The kids hardly ever sit and lounge. <laughs> they move more so swim in the water or they build sand castles with big holes. So it's staying shallow pretty far out here, as you can see. Yeah. The kids are standing up, so yeah. pretty easy to stand here. You're on your normal feet? Yeah, now I'm on my feet. Yeah, but if you go out a little bit further, actually, there is some waves breaking right there, but then you get past the waves and it's nice and calm, huh, Connor? Yeah. So you could actually, nice you could actually snorkel right here. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see if there's any fish under here and check it out. So I'm, yeah, I'll go get your snorkel stuff. Okay. Hey, Connor. Let's go snorkel it. Yeah. So Connor's first try snorkeling was just yesterday but it was in a lot calmer and clearer waters so but he did see some fish that he wanted to check out under there so he's like let's get the snorkel on <laughs> all right connor let's see if we can find those fish that you saw earlier <laughs> really that dirty when I compare it to a lot of other beaches we've been to I mean it's still pretty clear but <laughs> it's got it's definitely got some seaweed today which it was clear all the other days that we went so I guess we just came on a bad day to try the snorkeling since they just learned yesterday but the one you went to yesterday remember that yeah the pink sand beach the pink sand beach yeah elephanisi beach yeah. and that was crystal clear huh yeah. so definitely if you're gonna snorkel you would recommend that beach, right? Yeah. The Elephanisi Pink Sand yeah. Beach? Yeah. So, but we can still enjoy the waves here and enjoy this beach. It's still an amazing beach. All right, so me and my oldest son, Logan, are going for a little walk to show you the different parts of the beach here. Let's walk down the beach, buddy. All right. Yeah. So as we mentioned earlier, uh, on the west side of the beach, it is a little bit more powder sand and less pebbles. And then as you go further east on the beach, it does get a little bit more rocks in the water and pebbles in the water. So let's head down here. Here you can see, we do still have some rocks and pebbles here. So, how's it on the feet, Logan? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it does hurt your feet a little bit walking on some of the pebbles. So it isn't super powdery sand, but it is still a great beach. They do have water sports here. You can get on one of these. They have the jet skis over there. Yeah. Oh look, looks like they're getting ready to take a jet ski out here, Logan. I see the, I see the banana. You see the banana? Uh -huh. Do you want to ride the banana? <laughs> so this is uh, the beach that's closest to the port here in Rathemno. And you can see there is just like loungers for sale as far as the eye can see. So I would say the water clarity from where we just were and where we have our loungers is just a little bit better over here. Not quite as much seaweed. And the beach is pretty good here. You can see some really small pebbles, but right here, next to the harbor here, it's probably, it's probably the nicest powdery sand right here. Okay, now let's take the east side and we'll show you the difference. Uh, I did read online that a lot of people were 
complaining that it was a lot of big pebbles and hard to walk on the beach. Uh, so we'll see what the other side is there and show you that. There we go. What do you think, Logan? Get some more piles of rocks over here. <laughs> they hurt your feet. Do they hurt your feet? I don't think you should do this. <laughs> As we're going farther east, there's definitely a lot more walks and a lot more silly. I, I like a lot more seaweed and a lot more hills. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a hill there. And you can see it's uh, rocks that you kind of like sink into here. <laughs> kind of like eat your feet. <laughs> and then, yeah, and more food, like, yeah, definitely is better on the... Wow. We are back to our little part of the beach where we got our chairs here, and now we are thankful for what we have because this sand right here, very nice, huh, Logan? Yeah. Compared to where we just were. And yeah, we did get a little bit of seaweed that washed in, which messed up the clarity a little bit. But that was unusual for this part because we've been here for three weeks and it was very clear. So I think we definitely found the sweet spot here, which is right over there, is the harbor in Rathemno. So just right uh, east of the harbor in Rathemno and right by the water sports is the best place to get your lounger. For the last month, this has been a great home beach for us and we just love staying in with them now. Yes, and especially because there's a ton of restaurants right alongside the beach. So you have everything you may possibly need. They do have facilities, like you have like the washing stations, the showers, the bathrooms. Yeah, we got the showers right there. Yeah. You got a little changing station here. It looks like an outhouse. Exactly. Uh, but all along the beach, they have facilities, which makes it yeah, a really nice, nice beach. It is rated a blue flag beach, as you can see there. So that's, you know, a top tier beach on that rating system. So yeah. overall, it's great. It's fantastic. So let's go get some food now. I think yeah. it's time. Let's go eat and then after that we're gonna show you where we've been staying for the last month. Let's do it. So come along. Traffic from the beach can get a little hectic here, but once you get across the street, it does have a nice pedestrian sidewalk. The kids over here found something. It'll be fine. We found some slushies. So some Logan slushies. is wanting a pineapple slush. You're getting a pineapple slush over here, buddy? These are real too, no artificial flavors, the real deal. So they call them granitas. Oh, they got ice cream. Maybe we have some of that later too. They have a ice cream, they have smoothies. smoothies. They have some bakery items. They are mostly out of it. I mean, it is kind of later in the day. It's lunchtime now. So we're just gonna grab a slushie and then we're gonna go and grab some lunch. We're all hungry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Three euro for the slushie. Okay. Oh, all this right. really looks good. You can see the little chunks of chunks pineapple. Chunks of real pineapple. All right, Logan. We can just bring that with us and you can walk with it and then we'll find a place to eat. Is that refreshing, Logan? Can you taste the real pineapple? Yeah. just like in the wrap. So many different options and you also can get things on sticks. For example, really chicken on a stick, it. pork on a stick, chicken with bacon. Oh, so like bacon instead of time. getting a whole meal, you can just pay for that. Connor. What'd you see, Connor? <laughs> What'd you see? Bacon. You want anything with bacon? You love bacon, huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking <laughs> Watch for out. Connor, little animal, little animal. Chicken with bacon for Connor, and then Chris. I'm sure you're gonna get the euro and of the course. and the wrap with all the sauce and everything. The tzatziki. So we've been here almost a month, and I've probably had at least 20 
euros from different places. So we're gonna see how these ones size up here. <laughs> and I'm gonna go kind of boring with the chicken Caesar salad, just because it's so hot. I just want something cold, refreshing. I believe Caesar was from Rome, not from Greece. I mean, Romans <laughs> were here at one point, That's right? That's true, okay. So we're doing some ancient Caesar salad history. Oh, look, there we go. Oh my Connor, that's for you, the bacon lover. Bacon that's lover. the bacon lover special. It's probably really hot, Bubba. Wait, wait, wait. It let, hot. let it cool down a little I bit. Can sniff the heat. Oh, and here we go. Oh, oh right here. Thank you. There's my euro. Thank you so much. And it's beautiful. Perfect. And oh, can you answer a question for me, quick? So, how long did it take to cook the cook the Eat a meat or the uh, euro meat. When we put it uh, there, it's uh, like it's yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it needs about forty minutes. Uh, forty minutes to get brown and then ready to shave it off. Oh, okay, Thank looks you. delicious. Thank you. Oh. They shave that off. They shave it off of the because off of the big skewer. Yeah, you can see it right in there, buddy. This looks amazing. So I have a big, big Caesar salad over here. It has a ton of. Parmesan on top, like wow. And then there is well, that's little, hot. That's actually super hot. <laughs> little it's too pieces. hot, Connor. Oh, Connor says it's too hot. Yeah, just wait a little bit, Mama. It has little pieces of ham and bacon and croutons and corn. Can you have some? Chicken. That's huge. Big. Wow, and big pieces it's like of chicken. Like a family salad. <laughs> it looks amazing. And tomatoes, just like, wow. Okay, let's give this a try. Get a little bite with everything. Okay, <laughs> let's see. It's amazing. It is probably the best salad that I've had here, aside from like Greek salad, you know? <laughs> the classic Greek salad. As far as Caesar salad, this is the best one I've had so far on the island. It is so good. Just everything is delicious. Best Caesar salad here or best Caesar salad anywhere? It might be anywhere. anywhere in the world. Yeah, it's because so you had to come all the way to Greece for the best Caesar yeah, salad. Yeah, the chicken is like delicious, freshly grilled, like it's still warm. The rest of the salad, everything is so fresh, so good, so good. amazing. Then you get pita bread with it, which I don't know if I really need, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe we should have ordered some tzatziki to dip that in. Right? Maybe we should have. And my euro, which Ooh. I have been getting many euros while I've been here, but we'll see how this one stacks up. I do like that it has like a really like thick pita bread. I've seen some thinner ones. So that's really fluffy. You got your onion, your tomato, your tzatziki sauce, of course your pork gyro meat, which looks really tender. And when you're ordering a gyro, make sure you know the difference between a portion and a gyro wrap. Yeah, when we first because got here, I ordered like a gyro portion. It was like a family box of gyro meat. It was like two pounds of meat. And it was still pretty cheap, but it was like, we were eating it for like three days. <laughs> yeah. No, um, it'd be significantly more expensive than a euro wrap. A euro wrap will cost you under four euro, versus the portion would be probably in the nine, nine euro range. Yeah, I think this is 390, yeah. how much this was. But for 390, this is amazing. Amazing deal. You got, you, know, you got your french fries in there, of course, too, so let's give it a bite. I don't like french fries. <laughs> but the tzatziki is like, very good. Maybe the best I've had here on the island, actually. Wow. And the meat, very tender. I already tried that. I, I found it with, that with no onion. Mm. Connor yeah. is eager. eager I couldn't see it being better. Right here, Connor, I'm going to get this onion out of the way. And you can have a bite right there. Ready? Oh, that's a monster bite. That's a monster bite. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, wow. Get it all in. <laughs> wow, he's getting excited. I think he turned into a monkey there for a minute. <laughs> but yeah, so this is definitely amazing. I just couldn't think of any better way to spend three euros and 90 cents right here. This is amazing. Drink some water if you need to, buddy. Well, did you have my stroke like that said? <laughs> Take your time. So this is bacon wrapped chicken right here on a skewer. And this was an incredible, incredible deal. It was under three euro. It was like I two euro you know this fifty. Is a thing. Yeah. Two euro fifty. And I'm you get a little pita bread, you get thing. French fries. Here you go, buddy. Is it good? This is good. This is good. Did you get some of the bacon? Let me get some. 
<laughs> there you go. There you go. You got some of the bacon now. <laughs> I love bacon. Yeah, you love it? Would you amazing. would you eat one of these every day? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So this place is right along the beach. Well, actually you cross the street. And it is a little bit loud here, but I think that's part of the charm, just the hustling and bustling and all the scooters going by. Lots of people here getting deliveries and taking the Euros to people. I think we're gonna enjoy our lunch over here and then we're gonna head home to show you guys our house. Yeah, yes. you wanna show them where we've been living I for a month? I love showing you guys where we're living. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Connor's gonna give the tour. We'll yeah, see. I'll yeah. give the tour. So we had a great time at the beach and the family is getting settled into our Airbnb. And now I'm gonna take you on a tour of where we've been living for almost a month now. So we are in a nice little residential area, living like a local. We got our supermarket right across the street there. And then we got this beautiful stone street coming in and we just have amazing neighbors whenever you come through here. Yasas. Yes. <laughs> Everybody's so friendly. They did all this beautiful stuff here. I love this right here. <laughs> How you did the yarn. Beautiful. <laughs> we got all these uh, potted plants here. But yeah, this is our walk every day into our Airbnb. And we are staying in this retro arcade themed. Airbnb. Yeah, this is. Yeah, just... <laughs> okay, so we are here at the arcade apartment. <whistles> so right when you walk in here, it has automatic lights to greet you, which is pretty cool. And it has this marble staircase. These are like all original floors. This is a uh, 150 year old stone building and uh, they totally refurbished it so very cool right when you walk in you can see they have these vintage pinball machine boards here on the walls and you come up the marble staircase oh it's connor welcome to our home oh yeah connor wants to be a junior Wait, realtor <laughs> We'll oh. get to the bedroom in one second, but let's first show them everything here, okay? So let's see, said, this is our kitchen. So this is a one bedroom plus a loft apartment. Okay. It has one bathroom. Mine um, is the loft. Yes, you do sleep in the <laughs> loft. So the kitchen over here is small, but definitely workable. It's quite cute. Yeah. Right? It's a fridge, pretty empty. Pretty yes. empty right now. <laughs> we have not been here that much this week, yes. So. Uh, but it does have a oven, and of course you have a cooktop. Yeah, our um, panini machine. Fan, which... The panini machine, which has been basically getting used more than anything in this house. <laughs> We're so happy to have it. Um, it's Kids really love their really ham and nice. cheeses, yeah. Yeah, it's just been really nice for <laughs> I don't lunches. like ham and cheese. Oh, you like peanut I butter like peanut butter and jelly. With That's no right. crust. No crust. No crust. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then um, there's plenty of dishes and you know glasses and all of that so that's been really nice it's a pretty workable kitchen over here we have our laundry machine yeah uh, so we have a washer but we don't have a dryer so we have had the line dry which is normal for europe it's very normal we've gotten used to it and then we have a blender here which is really really nice it's the i think the first time that we've had a blender and a panini press in any airbnb <laughs> two things that we love to have but they we also have been really nice can't patches. patch them and bring them with us so. exactly now there has been some adjustments that we've had to make there's no microwave so that's one thing um that it was a little bit of hard for me in the beginning but now i'm so used to not having a microwave um, but other than that, this kitchen has been pretty great. It has a really nice coffee maker oh, yeah. and it makes like cappuccinos, like super fancy. So you have like the attachments for the coffee and for the milk and it actually like froths it up. Yeah, it's a it's boss been one. It's so, really nice one. It's Mom, been so nice. Right now? Not right now, but maybe <laughs> later. Hey, but what's in my pocket? It's 
been really nice. And over here we have our <laughs> dining room, perfect for four people. Um, the host actually left us some board games too, which are all in Greek, but we actually were able to play some. We used a Google Translate to translate the rules. So that's been really fun, but this is usually where we do all of our homeschooling in this area. Maybe not right now. We can play a board game after. Sure. We're going to show our friends a, to a tour and of the place, Connie. The thing that I love about this house is that they kept, even though, you know, it's a remodeled house, they kept some of the touches from the original can building. Can we do Ellie and Chris's bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Connor. You're getting ahead of us. So they, they kept the nice brick. Yeah, so this is like gorgeous. a stone house. So they actually exposed some of it just to show it. And which is very cool over here, some more of it, which they kind of showcased it with the spotlight. Yep. And then the floors are also all original. Yeah. Original marble floors. They which like is just po beautiful. polished up the stone floors, which is nice. Yep. And then right in Connor. Here. Okay, wait. Connor, Connor wanted to do it. Okay. Come into my mom and dad's bedroom, <laughs> aka Chris and Ellie. <laughs> 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 aka. I'm playing Straight Fighter with a bot over here, Ellie. Oh, yeah. With the bot, you're playing against the. You were playing against the bot. Let's the bots see. are really hard. Yeah. So it has this uh, arcade game here, right? And it I plays like a thousand. Myself one. Yeah, it plays a thousand different games, which I is know. super cool, huh, Connor? It plays thousands of different games. Yeah. But, uh. a wrong character. Oh, I, I chose the wrong characters for you? I'm just yeah. trying to show it off. <laughs> it's okay. You can choose your character. But one thing we didn't show wow, is we do have. Cool. Air conditioner in this room, and then we have another air conditioner here in our bedroom. How so. Did he just blow so that's fire? good. You can control each I zone know, separately. Uh, but this bedroom is really nice. It has a fireplace, which we haven't oh. had a fireplace up to this point. It's very homey. Yeah. Even though it doesn't actually like, give any heat, which you don't need here. We don't need here. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's it's too hot. It's we nice want for it. the ambiance. <laughs> and then we have a TV, a really nice size TV. Um, obviously the bed, which is so comfortable. Yeah, king size bed. We're getting such a good sleep here. I think some of the best sleep that we've had. Um, and really nice, like, foreign pillows, which is a treat. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems like everywhere we go, like, the pillows are super pillows. soft where you just sink into them, you know? Yeah, there's no support. <laughs> no support. But this has really nice pillows, so that's exactly. great. Exactly. So, over here we have our little closet area and then our bathroom. Storage has been a little bit of a challenge. I want like Yeah, we could use some more closet space. Yes. Um, I mean, we haven't really brought that much stuff, but we are traveling for a year. So brought, a little bit more closet the, uh, space would be good. Yeah, exactly. To fully like unpack and be a little more organized. Um, and then over here, it's the bathroom, which is beautiful. I mean, they did such a good job. This over here is so cool. So for the mirror, it actually has like oh, a yeah. built-in magnifier and the light <laughs> inside of the mirror. Yeah, really cool. Which is super cool. Um, and then you have your big shower in here with like the, the hand sprayer, sprayer. And which the I rain love. shower head. I and love then all this nice tile work here. Yes. That's pretty cool. And something that I like, which it's kind of cool. It is wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so whenever oh, you turn this on, party lights. It's got like party lights in the <laughs> shower. <laughs> if you really want an experience in the shower, it's awesome. Now, <laughs> one unique thing about Greece, which I didn't really realize, is that you can't flush toilet paper. Oh yeah. So there is a you'll see garbage cans in basically any bathroom that you go to in public bathrooms or anywhere. Yeah, it's basically, so, have a smaller diameter pipe. They said. Yeah. So toilet paper does get clogged up. So you're supposed to put everything in the waste can. So whether you're going yeah. to a restaurant or a private residence, yeah, yeah you need to not flush it. Because you don't want to have a backup situation and <laughs> a clog. And then obviously it's Europe. Oh yeah, we do have a sprayer, which I prefer to the bidet. Yeah. I'd rather be on the same, <laughs> the same appliance and then use the sprayer than go separately to a bidet. Yeah. But so, really nice bathroom, so even though it's just one bathroom for the four of us, it's plenty of space, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, so really nice. Really nice, the, like, the host here has been absolutely phenomenal. Yes. We have had a weekly cleaning, which is a treat. We have never been offered a cleaning for free. Um, and then also he, he brings in new towels, like, every three days, 
which has been great. He brought us the one day like this amazing cheese and local honey that his oh, friend yeah. made. That was great. We got like uh, local cookies he had yes, for us when he came. Incredible. The racky with honey, of course. which was great. So the local alcohol. Yeah, yeah and he, he's probably been uh, the most attentive host that we have had. He's just been taking care of us, checking up on us. Yeah, any yeah. of the other hosts that are watching, you were a close second. But close second. He's number one, sorry. Yeah, so far he's the number one because he has just been above and beyond. Yeah. And that's been all around with the Greek people as a whole. Yes. They've been the most warm people that we've experienced so far nicest, in our travels. Nicest people we have met so far. They're just very welcoming. They're you feel like you're part of the family. Like yeah. even like the our street over here, which we love, is so cute. But all the yeah. older ladies in the street well, are she always. Didn't see it when I when I was passing us. through, I was showing you guys like there was like ladies out there like they do their knitting and they're yeah. sitting there and so, they say hello, yasas, good it's health. So sweet, yeah. like they're so nice, such nice people. So we, and one thing I do like too is everybody like here. everybody out here kind of they kind of hang out their clothes in their underwear. <laughs> so yeah. I mean I I may have too, but we have the shutters right here. So that's what's cool. So these right here, we got these roll down shutters. So if you want your privacy, you have your privacy, which has been great. So, you know, I can have these. And you can roll them up, but this is a true residential neighborhood. Like when you're up here, you see all the other people. You can wave the people on the next balcony. And then, you know, like a true local, we actually have our, uh, <laughs> our laundry hanging out here. So. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Welcome to my kingdom. Uh, and look, here is oh, here's drying some pottery. Uh, pottery that they made the other day when they took a pottery class. Did a yeah. great job. Uh, but yeah, they have two job. chairs out here. We're not smokers, but if you are, you know, they do ask that you don't smoke and they smoke outside, but we don't smoke, so we don't have to worry about that. Then we have a little rack here. Logan, are you gonna help show us your bedroom upstairs? Okay, come on, dude. Right up these stairs. Logan is on his tablet there. Playing video games yep. and talking to friends. <laughs> oh, Connor has his little kitty. <laughs> you wanna have your stuffy, right? Yeah, so. So, this is my projector TV. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that on TV, Connor? Who is, is that? that? Our YouTube channel, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Another nice size bed here, I would say. This is the equivalent of an American queen, queen size right here. Uh, they do have some extra space there for clothes as well. Um, you have two nightstands, which is always nice. And did you notice my shirt? Really, really beautiful decor though. They did, they did, did a really, you really good job. Why did my shirt has planets on it? It does. So the one thing with kids is, if you have really <laughs> young children, yeah, you know this can be a little nerve wracking over here. Because yeah, it does have the glass here. It's glass. So, I worry about these guys because they like to wrestle around a little bit. They, they so Connor, too, be very careful. So I always tell them like no wrestling around up here because I am a little worried there when they're up here in the loft. But I think they wanted this low, of course, so they had a good view of the TV. Of the TV right there. Oh, who is that handsome gentleman right there? That's you, Dad. <laughs> You're just calling it handsome because it's you. Yeah, but look at that. You got a nice rose painting up there. Very romantic. Not that you guys want romantic, but oh wait, there's one more thing. Can I... Let me show you. Come on. Come on, Connor. I'm One more thing. Yeah. <laughs> One more thing. Yeah. Okay. So this has a little little skylight. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot about so that. It either opens up, or if you need like some fresh air, you can open that up. This is not a functional ladder. Do not climb this, and you're not supposed to go on the roof. But it's cool that if you want to open that up and look at the stars while you're laying in bed. Very neat. And he I told us. I actually thought you were supposed to go up yeah, there don't to get to the projector TV, but that. that <laughs> <laughs> and all of this wood has been restored here. You can see up in the up here, like they did a total transformation of this house. And this was actually the childhood home of our hosts. So this definitely means a lot to them because this was the home that they grew up in as a child. These were the streets that they played on, and it was awesome to hear the stories from them and uh and you know obviously they're very proud of what they've done here and remodeled this but we have had a great time like we, we still have a few more days but for a month staying in this place we really have made it our home and we love it don't we Connor? i love it here i want to live here hey, connor wants to live here forever <laughs> but we have lots of other countries to see so we will have to move on
now we're exploring Old Town with them now. This is such a cute old town. I mean, there's a ton of shops. It is not exactly pedestrian, but certain streets are. Yeah. Most streets are. And it's just so charming and beautiful. There's lots of different restaurants. There is tour desks that you can book tours. It's Your just, fairies, like yeah. we're going to Santorini tomorrow. So. But it's definitely the cutest part of Ruthimno. It's just very, the older buildings, it's, it's just adorable. It's oh, yeah. very cute. It is. It's very and good to walk through. And it's right now, it's um, you know closer to dusk, but yeah, at nighttime, it's just beautiful to walk through here. I, I love it. And amazing restaurants, of course. Everything everything you could want shopping here, it's, it's wonderful. And the Old Town leads you right down to the port and to the beaches. So it's a great location right off the beaches. Oh yeah, definitely. So we are going to explore around some more. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Here is the main street in Old Town and leads down from the arches all the, way, all the way down to the port. It's kind of the busiest area and there's a lot of different side streets that are so quiet you can pretty much find yourself alone there. Oh, look at this. Look at the doggy. Oh, so cute, isn't he? So sleepy. I thought it was like a work of art or oh, something. Oh, no work of art. Well, kind of, I guess. This over here is the Raimondi Venetian Fountain. It was built in 1626. And it's so, so beautiful. You have the lion. Remember, you can drink that water. You yes. can drink the water so you can fill in your bottles if you need oh to. Look, yeah, Connor, you, yeah, you can fill it up. Go You're filling up your Connor. bottle in a fountain that was built in the 1600s, Connor. That's pretty cool, huh? Fill it up, buddy. And then get fill it up. Oh, yeah. Water. Look at this guy. He looks. I'm not sure what kind of angry guy this is here. <laughs> an angry lion. I don't know. That's what I read about it. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, I can see that it's inscribed right there, yeah. And then the one thing that I love is that the fountain connects to the building right next to it. Oh, yeah, which is still being used exactly. as a restaurant. Which is incredible. <laughs> yeah. this, this little alley over here is one of my favorites. It's just so, so beautiful. So many different restaurants right off the fountain. Wow, that's a pretty, really pretty cat. Look how it's a calico. Huh? Okay, so we have reached the Venetian fortress. Yes, this place uh, was built in the 16th century and it was captured by the Ottomans in 1636. Okay, so let's go check it out. Let's go inside. Open till seven, so. What's that? A cat, a cat village up there? Oh my oh, yeah. god. Lots Six. of cute kitties up there. Well, we're gonna have to pet them after because they are yeah. close to closing time. So yeah, let's get in here. Sure. <laughs> right with the 
get in. Oh, wow, this archway is cool. This is the main entrance, Connor. So they wouldn't let anybody in here and they'd have guards, of course. So we definitely had an epic fail. They said they close at 8 o'clock. We're here at 7 o'clock. And they said they stopped letting people in after 7. So there's nothing on their website about that. So we weren't aware of that. Yeah, unfortunately. So unfortunately, we don't get to see it. But we don't get to see it. We're just we'll... here on the outside. And the cats are happy, though, because we found this little cat village here. They're just roaming all over the place I'm here. sad. You're sad? You wanted to see inside? Oh, yeah. yeah. Look, the wall's really cool right there, huh? It's really was... cool, and it, it's giant, and it has a really beautiful view of the ocean, I'm sure, from the top. So, no. a little sad, but there's nothing we can do about it. Unfortunately, we should have came here early. I thought that coming in, you know, they probably closed down at like 30 or 45 minutes prior to closing to yeah. admit people, but... Hmm. It is what it is. Unfortunately, we're going to miss out on this one. All right, well, let's explore around the outside of the walls, Connor. What do you yes. say? Cat village. Cat village? <laughs> What'd you find over there, Connor? Hmm? A sewer system. A sewer system? <laughs> Wait, a very old sewer system? Let's go over here on the edge, Connor, and go check this out. Hold on. I've got Run this way, Connor. Hmm? No kitties? They ran away? Well, let's go over here, Connor, because I want to see over here at the end of the wall and we get to see the ocean. Wow, Connor. Yeah. This is huge, huh? Yeah, I know. Yeah, too bad they closed early. I would have loved to see it. Yeah. That's a nice view of the ocean, though, huh? But don't want to fall. Don't want to fall, no. But that's a nice view, huh? Yeah. Let's go back and see Mommy before we lose her. <laughs> There's like some kind of secret passage there. Come. A secret passageway? You see it? Oh no, that's where they fixed the bricks, buddy. Yeah, that's where they fixed it. Probably used to have a doorway there or something and they fixed it. Fortress. If they started building it in 1573 and it was completed in approximately 1590. It was used for defensive purposes only during the siege of Verthimno by the Ottomans in November 1646. Most of the buildings surviving inside the fortress, formerly used as barracks, warehouses, places of worship, are now restored and serve as venues for cultural events. So you can actually go to an event inside. Oh. Maybe like a theater performance. So that's what it is. I was about to say, what's a cultural event? Yeah. And you just told me. Exactly. <laughs> so that's really cool. So even though we didn't get to go inside, we can learn a little bit from the outside. Yeah, plus me and Connor got to go see the nice views over there. Yeah. All right, let's go explore more of Old Town, shall we? All right, let's go. Smell good, Connor? Yeah, I like the smell of burning wood. You like the smell of burning wood? Yeah. That is so juicy dripping off there. Pastry is getting ready over What's there oh, wow. for baklava. 
So this little place, I have heard of it, and we just randomly happened to stumble on it, but it's a family-owned business for generations to generations, um, and they're supposed to make the best baklava. And you can see them over here stretching the dough each day. So I think we're gonna have to pick up some, some yeah. baklava. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? We'll get one of the small ones. All right. We have heard wonderful things. <laughs> I heard this is the best in all of Crete, or maybe all of Greece. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you guys usually stretch the dough? Uh, in the morning. In the morning. Mm -hmm. So come in the mornings if you guys want to see when they actually do all the work and stretch the dough out for the fill up. Alright. It's a different kind. This is the baklava. Mm -hmm. oh. This one is the kadaifi. Ah, okay. Kadaifi. Kadaifi. Thank you. But it's so cool. You can see in the pictures over here how they stretch it out. Thank you. So we have our little mini baklavas over here. It is four in the little order, so that's perfect for our family. You're gonna try it? Okay. So we just stick your dessert. It has phyllo dough, and then it has honey. That's really hard, it's so hard, I cannot take it. <laughs> mm. mm. I can see how he says it's too hard. <laughs> it is very crunchy, but certainly you can eat it. <laughs> Okay. I really like what's on top of it. That's all I know. You like the <laughs> topping, the right, glaze? Give a bite, Logan. This one's skinnier. You can try this one. Yeah, I might. Uh, <laughs> you can do it. Oh, uh -huh. It's not that hard. Come on. Oh, it's so good though. Remember, there's some guacamole on it. It's all right. It's all right. Not a big fan. Not a big uh -uh. fan. How about you? All right, give it a bite, buddy. Bite hard. There you go. See, you can do it. Not too bad. Oh, after all that, now you're saying not too bad? You like the sweetness? It's nice and sweet? Hmm? It's very sweet. It has a delicious mm. sticky glaze on it. It has pistachios. I'm not sure what other nuts it has inside. All right. But it's it not bit. extremely nutty. Mm. So even the kids, I feel like they would like it. Mmm. It's really good. Like, it's good. really, really good. Yeah, I've had the baklava before, but... This one is really good. I've never, I don't think I've ever had like it homemade. Mm. Yeah, well, this is very good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. town it is amazing walking through here seeing the historical buildings and the shopping is great unfortunately since we're traveling for so long and we don't have a home right now since we're always traveling we can't fit everything in our suitcase so there's lots of things we would love to buy here but we just don't have room for it but it is amazing just to window shop and look at everything of course the kids want to buy a million things too <laughs> but no it's great to stroll through here and it's just a wonderful feeling especially at night with all the lights lit up and everything Okay, so that concludes our little tour of Rathemno for you. We have really enjoyed staying here. It is such a homey little town. I mean, it's not really that little, but it's very homey, very yeah. cute. I mean, it is the third largest city here on the island of Crete, but we have really felt like this place has been our home. Like, we've been here for almost a month now. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, so we've loved it. I know Connor said he would stay forever, wouldn't he, Connor? Yes. Yeah, you want to move here? Yeah. <laughs> it is a very charming little town. It's very walkable. You don't really need to have a, a car if you're staying within, you know, the boundaries of like the old town. Yeah. Just because you have the old town, you have the beach within. And the our conditions. our Airbnb was Airbnb was great because we could we had a supermarket really close. We had a coffee shop right on the corner, and you could walk to the beach and walk here to Old exactly. Town. Exactly. So it was there perfect. There is a municipal garden nearby with a playground for the kids. There is every Thursday. There is a local market. So it's just like a very hustling and bustling little town that will keep you busy yet oh, yeah. you can also find little charming little streets 
where it's gonna be only you by yeah. yourself and you can get lost in them. But yeah, we really loved it because it was centrally located so we could go to the a little bit more popular Hanya and then the larger city Heraklion. So those are the two where there's airports. This one doesn't have an airport going to it. So you do have to get a taxi ride here you do. Or, or rent a car. But I think it was perfect having yeah. the central location, especially if you have a rental car. So it's, it was it great for us. It's a fantastic choice. So we really enjoyed it. And I think now we're going to be off to our next city on our list. Yes. So we is... are headed to Santorini. Yeah. So we are taking the Sea Jet to see Santorini. So we're excited for that. You excited to go to Tran Santorini? Yes. And see you getting Santorini. Bye. <laughs> what do you say, Connor? To our friends. Make sure like and subscribe, please. Bye. I have to come all the way to Greece to get the best bacon. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You stole the camera? Yeah, I did <laughs> steal the camera. Yeah, where's the best bacon? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Are you liking Greece? Yeah. So, what were you telling me earlier that you want to tell our friends about Greece and this place? What, what do you think about it? This place just feels like home. Yeah. I really like it here. It just feels like home here. It feels like home here? Yeah. Well, that's good to say.